Okay, um, I'm not quite sure why we're dealing with this at the network layer because this is really not necessary to networking at all. Um, this is the domain name system or DNS. And DNS is absolutely unnecessary for the operation of the internet. DNS is uh, purely for our human benefit. Uh, it translates domain names into actual IP addresses, which are, of course, what the internet actually uses. And the only reason that we have it is we human beings tend to remember words better than we remember numbers. Uh, anyway, uh, it is, as I say, it, it does not, um, it's not required to operate the internet. To, for internet functionality at all. Um, when uh, one of my early uh, providers was Sprint Canada, which has absolutely no relation other than a name to Sprint in the United States. Um, Sprint Canada gave new meaning to the word unreliable. Um, yeah, I said that uh, IP was unreliable and best effort. Um, Sprint Canada was unreliable and definitely not the best effort. Um, various parts of their uh, system would go down on a pretty regular basis um, including the DNS and if it was the DNS that was the problem uh, in those days and I really can't remember how long ago this was but I uh, as a techie and a user of the internet um, had made a habit of figuring out the IP addresses of uh, various things that I needed and you know, partly yeah, in regard to troubleshooting and that sort of thing but in any case I, I had the IP addresses the actual numeric addresses for uh, things like Sprint's mail server so uh, when I signed on and couldn't get access to my mail um, it was, uh, you know, and, and various other things would indicate that it was the DNS that was the problem. No problem. I would just simply replace the name of the mail server with the IP address of the mail server, and then my mail would come through just fine. And... Uh, so, you know, it, it is purely for our uh, convenience that DNS exists at all. Um, now, uh, it really does work in, in the session or the application layer. I mean, you know, it's, it's not really... Uh, operating at the network layer. Um, but, as I say, you know, even in, in terms of talking about the internet uh, uh, and teaching about it, people prefer to use names rather than IP addresses. So, you know, we're, we're discussing it here. Um, now, there are two elements to DNS. And that is the name server, which responds to requests. Um, you know, somebody is trying to reach 
mail.sprint.ca and uh, you know what is the actual IP address so that we can actually send a datagram packet to that uh, host and so the uh, domain name server will reply uh, with the IP address if it's not down. Um, but uh, there is a second part here, and that is the resolver. And when that particular DNS cannot fulfill that request, if it doesn't know uh, what that particular domain name relates to, what the, the number is, then it goes to a next higher uh, layer of the DNS itself, the, the system overall. Um, so, you know, it, it should uh, pass this off. Um, the The thing is that uh, it's it's making these requests, it's, it's fulfilling these requests without doing any authentication in the original DNS. And so this is why uh, pretty much everybody these days is using DNSSEC, which is supposedly a secure form of DNS. Unfortunately, it has its own problems as well. But, I mean, in, in the early days, um, people were, uh, well, early days, no. About 20 years ago, a lot of people started attacking uh, DNS as a, as a way to, um, uh, you know, attack users. They would uh, redirect them to a fake uh, website um, by poisoning the uh, table, the DNS table, um, and submitting, uh, you know, their IP address, you know, bad guy's IP address, uh, for, you know, mail.sprint.ca. And so uh, when you thought you were talking to mail.sprint.ca, you were really talking to a bad guy and giving him your uh, password for your email type of thing. So uh, these types of things uh, did go on. Now, the, the, DN, the original DNS, it, I, I shouldn't say, and I, I don't want to leave the impression that it was um, badly designed. Uh, you know, aside from the lack of authentication, um, it was really quite robust. And I can remember one time when, uh, oh, of the, the 13 uh, top-level DNS servers in the world, you know, running the Internet, nine of them were busied out with some kind of denial-of-service attack. And basically nobody noticed because the, the system itself was was very robust. So, um, anyway, uh, that's what DNS is.